All right, so mm, once upon a time, there was this guy, right? His name was Soccer Ball Jones. And Soccer Ball Jones loved soccer ball. He liked it a lot. And uh, he liked it so much that none of the other people in his town wanted to play soccer ball with him. So, so he kind of went to a depressing state. And then he realized that he wasn't that good at soccer ball. And then he was he was just ready to stop living. He, so he, he started just sitting in his basement, just watching cartoons on the internet. And that's, that's all he did forever. And uh, one day he got an email from the king of a faraway land where an evil wizard had taken captive of their, ki- captive of their kingdom and uh, was going to enslave them all. Well, had enslaved them all, if you would like to be correct. So, Soccer Ball Jones knew what he had to do. He had to travel to this far-off kingdom and fight this evil wizard. So, of course, being the chivalrous man Soccer Ball Jones was, he, of course, accepted. And he uh, headed on down to this land. When he got there, he got to the, the castle gates of uh, where the king was supposed to be. But uh, no one was there. It was a ghost town. And... Yeah, it was it was it was freaky. He didn't know what to do. He like he was in this new place, no one was there. Then he heard a heard a far off roar. He heard a growl in the distance. And he turned around. That's when he saw the biggest beaver he had ever seen. <laughs> no, I mean it was like at least four times bigger than the biggest beaver you've ever seen. And that's only that's only if you've seen a big beaver. So he heard this beaver r- rummaging through the through the forest, and he uh, he realized what he had to do. He ran off into the forest, and in the middle of the forest was a giant lava-filled crater where the beaver was making his dam. In inside that dam was all the people of the of the kingdom. And on that beaver's back there was the mighty wizard who was laughing maniacally at uh. And uh, Soccer Ball Jones. Soccer Ball Jones conveniently saw a a big bucket of soccer balls, like a really big bucket. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan's making me laugh. Uh, and he saw he saw that, and he's like, "Oh no, I'm not good at soccer. I can't I can't beat this beaver with these soccer balls." But then all the people of the kingdom looked at him and said, "Yes, you can, Soccer Ball Jones." You were the best goddamn soccer player in the entire world. And then he realized he was right, and he took a soccer ball, jumped in the air, threw the bucket of soccer balls, so they were, like, floating down, and, like, it was, like, one of those cool scenes where they're all, like, floating down, and then he, like, kicks them all individually because he threw them all at, like, different, like, strength, so they all fall down at different times, and he kicked them, and they all, like, flew, and the beaver exploded, and all the people were okay. And you know what? Soccer Ball Jones went back, and everybody in his town liked him for some reason, and it was great, and he was nominated mayor, and he got a million girlfriends. And yeah, that's the story of Soccer Ball Jones. All right. Yeah, I'll stop this here.